Good morning. We spent the night camped west of Yellowstone National Park. I think we're about four or five miles just west of the park boundary. I slept pretty well. Didn't sleep for very long. I got about six and a half, seven hours of sleep. Cass got a little bit more. How'd you sleep? <laughs> and Bowser, I think he slept pretty well. So this is where we camped last night. It's just, um, so this is the main gravel road out here. We passed by this little, I don't know, pull out thing. Uh, it's maybe 30 or 40 feet deep. So we just parked back in there for the night. Not the most scenic campsite, but uh, got the job done. We've had a bit of a change of plans. Instead of going into Yellowstone first, we decided to uh, come see some more springs. The start of this river. This is the Warm River. And the springs are just up here. All right, so here are the springs that we'll go to in a minute. It says here, Warm River Springs. Water flow 200 feet per second, cubic feet per second. Temperature, I don't know what PF stands for, but it's, I read that it's about 50, 51 degrees Fahrenheit year round, the spring. That's why it's called Warm Springs. There's a cabin here that you can rent out. I think I looked it up and it was like 50 or $60 a night, really not too bad. This is one of the main sources of the Warm River, which continues to flow on down this way. But then we've got this just gorgeous little river right here too. I guess this is also the warm river. Idaho is just a really beautiful state. There's just a lot of beautiful stuff here. I think we're done here. Um, I think I'll probably come back sometime in the future and fish this, this river here, this little river. But for now, we're gonna head back to Ashton, get gas, get some, uh, get some wet food for Bowser. He hasn't been liking his dry food recently. Then head on into the southwest corner of Yellowstone National Park after that. We are entering Yellowstone National Park. We've been driving uh, on a dirt road for a long time, like 15 miles. And we also just entered Wyoming. Most of the drive was in Idaho, but we uh, just barely turned into Wyoming now. Here's the Fall River off to the right. It's kind of a smaller pseudo waterfall here on the river but I don't believe that's cave falls I think we need to keep going there it is wow there's a lot of water coming over that thing right now so we are the only ones here how often can you have a waterfall in Yellowstone all to yourself a waterfall in a major national park all to yourself so this, uh, this corner of Yellowstone, they call it Waterfall Country, they call it uh, Cascade Corner. We're here, there are a couple of different waterfalls here. And then there are a bunch you can hike to that are just really beautiful. Like, check this one out. Really awesome. We are in the very, very bottom left corner, the very southwest corner of Yellowstone National Park, just barely in the park. But this is the park.
We had to leave Bowser in the car because uh, dogs aren't allowed on trails in, well, in most national parks, and that is also the case here. Looks like there's a fork in the trail. To the left is the, uh, the brink of the falls. That sounds good. And here's looking upstream of the falls. It's really beautiful. That is a very cool waterfall. It looks much more tranquil and placid in the pictures, but I'm guessing that because it's spring and you know the snow is melting out of the mountains, the river is higher and it just is raging and there's mist and it is very cool. And we had it all to ourselves, not too many mosquitoes, definitely worth seeing. This corner of the park, um, like there's the waterfall here and then there's a trailhead, but you can't drive any further into the park. This is a dead end if you're just in a car. But you can hike to all of those waterfalls that I showed you on that map a little bit earlier. And um, I plan on doing some of that this summer, going backpacking into the backcountry to some of those waterfalls. And this and everything that we've seen on this trip, everything that we will see on this trip, is now less than two and a half hours from where we live. Back at the car, Bowser is alive and well. And uh, I think we're gonna head to the Tetons now. We've been having views of the Tetons off and on throughout the day today and yesterday too. If you don't know, the Tetons are just a really beautiful, really spectacular mountain range. And we're gonna basically drive home along the western edge of those mountains. So let you know when we have something uh, to report. Look at this view of the Tetons today. It's a beautiful, relatively clear day. Just gorgeous. It's been several hours. We didn't really stop to look at the Tetons other than those, uh, those clips that I showed you before. We did stop in that general area to get some dinner. And now we are about to go see the final site of the day and it's a waterfall. It's um, actually a waterfall that we've been to before. We came here last year on our honeymoon, but it's a really beautiful waterfall and I would like to fly the drone around it and get some, uh, some drone eye view footage of it. It's called Fall Creek Falls. Awesome place, isn't it? It's really beautiful. And that view, like flying up the valley, looking up the valley, it's just unbelievably pretty. All right, that's it for this trip. Hope you enjoyed it. We're gonna head home now. We're about an hour and a half 
100 miles from home and uh, I'm just gonna drive straight on through. So uh, let me know what your favorite part of this video was and uh, let me know if you have any questions and we'll see you in the next one.